Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive and take a look at some more features of the Kingston Mobile Light Wireless device. Um, I have a review video and I'll have a link in the show notes for that, but uh, I wanted to kind of go over some of the new features or if you've upgraded to the latest and greatest firmware, which is I believe 1134 or 1.1.3.4. Um, we've got some options that, uh, well, even if you haven't upgraded the newest firmware, we're going to go over some of the other options. One of the other options is to access this. I mentioned in my previous video that you would have a, um, an app that you have to download. And that, that's probably one of the better ways is an app for Android and an app for iOS. But if you open Safari or Chrome or any web browser on your Android or iOS device, and you plug in the IP address, which should be 192.168.200.254. Uh, you will get a website. In that website, you can browse the SD card or USB device, as you can see here. Um, and actually use it like an app. So it's got an Apache web server running on the device. So you can come in here and you can actually change the settings as well. If you wanted to in here, you don't have to do it through the app. You can come in here and there you can see the latest and greatest firmware right there, 1.1.3.4. So it has a website. You can come in here and do this. Now, what I wanted to kind of touch upon also is file management. And this will be mainly on an iPad, but you can do something similar on an Android device. Um, so I'm going to launch an app that if you don't have, I highly recommend that you get. And it's called Good Reader, and it's it's a little pricey, maybe five ninety nine, six ninety nine. You know, the price varies, but it's well worth it. So what I've done is I emailed myself a file um, on my iPad, iPad, and it was a zip file. And through the email, I just touched and hold, and I said, "Open in Good Reader." And you can see here, there is a zip file that I downloaded. And actually, this is a firmware upgrade for the mobile light. Within GoodReader, you can actually take this and you can unzip it, which I did. And it has the bin file, which is right above that. So what you can do now is another neat feature of the mobile light wireless is it's actually an SMB server. And if you're not familiar with an SMB, it's server message block. And it is a protocol, and you can see down here in the bottom right corner that I'm moving right here, it says servers found via Wi-Fi. So when you're connected to the mobile light and you do a search down here, it's going to find this as a share on the network. And it's, sh it's sharing it as mobile light. So what you can do is click on that, and now you can access it as like a network share. And copy and, and uh, take files to and from your SD card from your iPad or from your SD card or USB that's attached to it to your iPad, you know, vice versa. It works both ways. So you can actually transfer files from your iPad. And you know, this was strictly, I did an email of a file to myself. I unzipped it on my iPad. Uh, I wrote it to the SD card on the Kingston. Uh, I rebooted the Kingston and it upgraded the firmware. So I didn't need a PC in the middle of this to um, do all the work. So that's kind of a really cool feature. Um, I've actually also looked to see uh, GoodReader actually does give you like a web dev server here. You can see an FTP server. I've tried to uh, SSH to the mobile light wireless. Um, I've tried a web dev. I don't think it runs a web dev inside of it. Um, if we want to go a little further and try to hack it, um, you can. I'm going to say though also when you connect to the SMB server on the mobile light wireless it's going to ask you for a password. You're going to want to put in admin admin. Admin is the username, admin is the password. Uh, that combination works to get you access to the SMB server or the share running on the mobile light wireless. So you've got some options guys. This is a really cool device. Um, you know, you don't have to have this good reader app. You can probably have uh, any app that does SMB um, that will help you out. And again, this is the native mobile light wireless app. Uh, you can transfer stuff from your mobile light device into this app. And it's kind of like a, a holding tank or a repository. 
uh, kind of a middle grounds between your iPad and the mobile light. It's kind of an extra step. It's kind of a pain. So I recommend if you want to use Goodreader and use this as an SMB share, you have more powers to transfer files to and from. And you can actually, now another thing I've done on this is take movies, copy them to my camera or my, uh, my, you know, my photo inbox on my iPad and then opened it with iMovie. So you can transfer files to and from your iPad from this. It's really cool. Um, really a good device for the price. You cannot beat this mobile light wireless. So I highly recommend it. Um, that's just an update I wanted to come out here and post on this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, again, take a look at my other review. This is just kind of a quick little update. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you